All right, hello everyone. Happy Monday. Um, we're going to be making some turkey apples today. I'm going to wait for a few of you guys to turn in. I am going to go get my laptop because I totally forgot uh, to get my laptop. And I want to be able to see who's in here and who's saying hi to me and all of that. So um, let me go get my laptop while you guys tune in. Okay. So this is a live. If you guys are watching the replay, this is the live. Um, hello. And I'm gonna put my laptop over here so I can see your comments. How are you guys doing? Happy Veterans Day. Um, are you guys are you guys working still, or are you guys out of home already? Hi Elsa. All right. So let me get settled here, and hopefully we get a few of you guys and. I know YouTube, I'm transitioning to YouTube, so I know a lot of you guys are getting used to it also. Um, hello. Okay. So if you guys didn't see my, my apple that I did today, it's this one right here. This is the one we're going to be making. All right. Hola. Okay. Let me log in because it's not letting me. All right. So, is the connection okay? Can you guys hear me okay? I know sometimes there's a like weird lag where I look like kind of retarded. <laughs> All right. I see you guys, and I can see your comments. Hi, uh, Blanca, Griselda, Jessica, Luz, Yvette. Okay, you guys are telling me that I am good. We can hear you clear. Awesome, okay. So let's get started. We're gonna get started. So for my chocolate, let's get started with chocolate. So here I have a toned down brown. So what I use, I use almond bark. Okay, this is almond bark from uh, Walmart, okay. And I don't, if you do this by itself, it's going to give you a very dark brown, which I love the dark brown. But if you want to tone it down just a little bit, I added Merkin Super White to this, to my mixture, to get like a lighter shade of brown. So all this is right here is almond bark, almond bark mixed with a little bit of Merkin Super White. So you need more brown than white. White is just to tone it down a little bit, but that's it. Okay, so that's what we have here. Okay, and if you guys have issues melting your chocolate or have issues getting the right consistency, I did a live maybe uh, two weeks ago and it's on my YouTube. Um, just look for it and I go into detail about how to melt your chocolate um, and just troubleshoot what happens if we overheat it, so on, so on. So almond bark, I love the way it, it dries. It gives me a very just nice brown. Um, the only the only times that you'll see like white streaks is if you overheat your chocolate meaning if it goes from room temperature to super hot right away or vice versa from you know super hot to really cold uh really quickly it will give you that those white streaks okay so if you guys need more help with that then um uh watch my other uh youtube video okay Hi again. So I do have a giveaway. Elsa was so kind enough to um, gift us this mold right here, this set. So um, I'm going to be picking out one winner at the end of the live. So this is only for my live viewers. If you're watching the replay, I'm so sorry. So I'll just pick out random from the comments. And one of you guys will receive this set right here, which you're going to be used today. And everything that I'll be using today, I'll leave a link after the live, like always, um, in the description. I'll leave a link for these. And if you guys are wanting to order these, these are in the large size. Okay, she has, I think, um, a smaller size. All of this is large, correct, Elsa? So all, the, all of this is large. I'll leave a link for this. And everything that I, I can leave links for, I will leave them at the very end, okay? Uh, once I'm, I'm done with the live. Okay, so let me get... Um, my apple so I can dip one. I already have one dry, but I just wanted to show you guys from the very beginning. Um, 
You are welcome, Jacqueline. Elsa says yes, it is a large. Hi, Anna. Hello. Hi, everyone. Okay, let me get wax paper. I forgot to grab my wax paper. So I'm gonna get some wax paper and I'm gonna give this a mix so there's no like white that hasn't combined. Okay. Alright, and I have my apple here. And if you guys see these specks on it. Okay, this is my caramel drying. I did these apples literally more than three days ago and they've just been sitting on my counter. They're not for anyone. I, I was going to use them for the tutorial and um, I didn't know what day I was going to go live. So on, so on, so on. So that's why my camera looks a little bit funny here. And yes, my nail broke. <laughs> I'm going to go get my nails done tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so these white specs, just don't worry about it. Don't ask me what it is because it's just my caramel drying and um, these are not for anyone. I did them for the life. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there. And because my caramel is not the fresh looking, I'm gonna try to cover it up. Usually for my caramel apple students, you guys know that I like some caramel showing. Um, the reason I, I hid it this time is because of those dry specks. Uh, just because it's been sitting on my counter for over three days already. But we're okay with that. <laughs> All right, and that's it, All right? I'm gonna set it down. And um, I'm gonna dip one more, okay? And it's setting nicely, I don't have no issues. Um, hi Dee, hi Becca. Okay, so I'm gonna dip one more. Okay, gonna tilt my bowl a little bit and then just go in there. And just shake off the excess. Hi Jennifer, how are you? Okay. I'm trying to like... Alright, there. So, my apples are chilling. They're gonna dry out. I already have one already here dry. Okay. Um, your caramel apple class is the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for all the other people that maybe don't follow me on Instagram and are just came across my YouTube channel, I don't know, randomly. Um, my caramel, my caramel is a class. It's not available right now. So that's why I don't go into the caramel because it is a class. So I can't go into much details about it. Um, in case you were wondering. Okay, so let's talk about the molds. So we have a body shaped mold here and it's pretty big okay and then I have my feather one this one here okay so um for the my my turkey that I did here I used the feather twice okay so if you do just one it'll be a little bit too short you'll want to expand it a little bit so I did I did uh two of these on the back of my apple okay and there is two ways of making it the way i made it i use poppy paint you guys know okay i am very um yes these are the tar the discontinued target bowls yes the famous discontinued target bowls um i always tell you guys that i'm like freaking lazy and for me to be coloring fondant that is just too much work for me uh, i will show you both ways because i know a lot of you guys don't have poppy paint on hand and don't want to you know spend money i will show you both ways the way i did it and you know mixing in more like different fondant together um but let's start with the turkey this one here okay so let me find my brown okay so i have brown here okay so if you want to make it as you know kind of color match your apple then by all means go for it mine's a little bit more like more brownish this was a little bit more lighter on my apple um so it's a different tone you guys can try to um like make it perfect if you guys want to and the way of, i have obtained this brown right here um if you guys buy brown already made it's gonna give you like a really dark brown let me see if i have any left in here i don't think i have any yeah, I have a little, I mixed it so it's all mixed, but this one here is a really dark, dark brown, okay? 
Um, if you want to tone it down, you can mix in with white. Um, you can start with white and then add a little bit of, this is America color gel color. Um, this is Buckeye Brown. And just add, add a little bit, you're going to mix it in with your white until you get the tone that you want. Um, once you color it, you want to wait a little bit before you start using it because sometimes when we add gel color into it it'll be really like sticky and kind of a little bit on the wet side so just let it like i will let it sit out like this for just a few minutes so it can dry up and it's easier for me to work with um in case you guys are having issues with your fondant means too sticky um the brand that i'm using here i like to use when i'm doing white i like to use wilton from michael's um, and these little buckets here, they're from Fat Daddy O's. I like them because they're already pre-made. And once again, I just like to save myself time of coloring fondant. So um, I don't really have a preference. I use all types and all brands. I use Satin Eyes, Wilton, Fat Daddy O's. Um, if you're having a lot of issues with your fondant sticking to you, so on, so on, you can use um, cornstarch, powdered sugar. Um, if it becomes too sticky... I suggest changing brands. Um, there are some brands out there that are super, super just really sticky. So just try to avoid them. Okay, so I'm literally gonna start putting fondant in my mold just like that and I'm just gonna shape it. And because my fondant doesn't stick to me, um, I, I'm just gonna use my, my fingers. But if you're having issues, you can use a fondant little roller. I don't know where mine is at and I don't want to waste time getting it. So I, what I did with mine, I painted the, the details. Okay. Um, so I did just like this. It's not perfect. You guys see. Okay. And then I'm going to peel it off. And it's not super, super deep. But it's not super thin either. For me, it was the, kind of the perfect, um, the perfect mold. So I see the eyes, the little beak, and the little waddle, and, okay, just like this. Okay, if, because we have to wrap the turkey around the, the apple, you can make them ahead of time, meaning you can make them like 12, let's do 12 right now, and then let's attach. I wouldn't suggest letting them dry completely for like a whole day or, two, or three days because then you're not gonna you're gonna have a hard time attaching it to your apple like wrap around because the apple is round. Um, if you want it to stick on like just you know perfect like standing up, then then yes, um, then do them ahead of time. But because I want to wrap it around the apple, you know the the body, the whole thing, I want to wrap it. Um, I'm gonna do it as I go. Um, or do 12 and then uh, and then attach to my apple. So I want the feet all the way to the bottom. I want it at the very end here. So when it sits, it's literally the feet are touching there. You guys see that? Okay. And then I don't, I want the head to wrap around the apple. Okay. And this is why if you're planning to sell them, having a head that sticks out, you know, basically what I'm saying is sticking out means like this, standing up without attaching out here. It's a very fragile apple. Um, any little bumps, it might break right here in the neck, and then you'll lose the entire head. Okay, not something that you can be like, oh, you know, it's okay, it doesn't matter. It's the it's the head, you know. So for me, this is what's gonna work. Um, without me having to, you know, having um, to worry about the custom of the head falling off to the customer, you know. Um, this is literally wrapped straight around the apple. You guys see that? I will show you guys, um, uh, I know some of you guys are asking the flower top ones. I will see if I can get my hands on one. I didn't pull one out. I only pulled out the square ones. These right here. Um, I'll let you know, Claudia. Okay. Anyways. All right. So this is it right here. Okay. So I painted all the details. I painted the eyes, the beak, the little waddle, and the little body, and the feet. I painted them. Okay. Um, if you want to use fondant into the little like things you can. I don't have you know, the red and the, and the orange, but let me give you just a quick example in case you guys don't want to paint them. Let me give you just a quick of how you would do it. Okay, for me, just for me, for me, this is a lot of work. If I do tiny little details like this, 
with I have to like stick in the like the fondant and the little beak. Um, try to get it as perfect as you know, and it sticks because it's tiny, but it's definitely possible. Okay, so I have the beak there. Okay, and I don't have red, but let's do let's do no, no let's not just do brown. Uh, let me do pink. Let me do pink for the water. No más para enseñarles. So I have a little bit of mixture here. Who who has poppy paint? Who's gonna like if you're gonna purchase these? Who's gonna use poppy paint and who's gonna use fondant? I just want to get like an idea of what we're what what you guys are going to be using. So I'm literally gonna try to put it inside the little waddle and try to take off what I can, but okay, so and it's fine if it covers the beak a little bit because it's on the back. So the front will show just the orange. Um, I will use fondant. What is poppy paint? Good question. Um, I'll show you guys right now what poppy paint is. Okay, so just you know, beak is there and the little waddle. And then you have to put the eyes in, the white. And the tight, and the eyes are, you know, pretty small. So I have white fondant here. Um, I use fondant. I think fondant. Okay, okay. So I will keep going just to show you guys both ways. Um, and then you want to get a little bit of white fondant and just literally going to have to stick it in the eyes. <laughs> Or you can do it afterwards, but I think it'll look better if you do it before. And it's like tiny pieces, you guys. Like just like that. Okay. Uh, I would definitely use poppy paint. It dries fast and saves me so much time. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that I'm not the only lazy one. No, just kidding. <laughs> People like to say when I say that I'm lazy, people are like, no, Denaria, you just like to work smarter. I'm like, okay, I like that better. All right, I'm literally trying to put like my little fondant eyes in there, but because it's tiny, it's I need like a probably like something else, like a toothpick or something. Actually, I think the eyes should be black. No, I think I messed up. It should have been black. But just you guys can get the idea, okay? Because I don't have black fondant anyway, so. Um, and then I'm going to grab my brown fondant. Um, somebody's asking, would I charge more if I'm going to use a poppy paint? I think I would charge more if I use like fondant details like this. Because for me, this is way more time consuming than, than adding poppy paint. Um... That's just me though. But yes, like this is this will be considered like a, a detailed apple. So definitely gotta charge more than like with your basic apple. Okay, let's see how it came out. Okay, it's gonna look scary <laughs> because the eyes are white, you know. And it, mess, it got messed up on me. So, look at the eye. <laughs> but it's definitely possible. You guys see, like, this, the beak and the waddle came out. But this just didn't. Like, I needed a little bit more tinier fondant. Um, but it's definitely possible. Okay. Se mira chinito. You just, it's... I guess I just don't have the, enough practice to do stuff like this. I just, for me, I just rather paint on it. But you can do, you can do it. If you want to do fondant, it's definitely possible, okay? And you just have to work out the areas of the eyes and make sure that it's only in the mold where the eyes are at, you know? Just make sure it's in there and not outside of that. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, let me put this to the side. And let's do the, the feather, okay? So... I did white on mine, so I'm gonna do white first, and then I'll I'll show the different um, different fondant colors. And 
If Poppy Paint is easier, I'm going with that. Yes. For me, it's easier. I think for other people, it might not. I, I always say that I'm not a good painter. Um, like, I'm not, a, like, a really good artist. I like to hand draw and stuff, but when the, the stuff is there, like the, you know, the, the beak is there for me and the waddle and the eyes, all I have to do is like get in there and kind of color between the lines, you know, color inside the lines. Um, I can do that, <laughs> but I can't draw like the turkey by itself. Like I just, I can't. Okay. So I use, like I said, white fondant for my feather and then I colored it. So I, my hands are a little bit on the sticky side. So I'm literally using like the back so I don't have to, so it won't stick so much to me. Okay, I'm going to need cornstarch because I'm getting, my hands are getting like hot because you guys are making me nervous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hold on, let me get cornstarch. Hold on, hold on. So I have cornstarch. I'm going to add a little bit. So a little bit. And then it's just much easier now. And the, the, the mold is not super deep. But I don't think it's super thin either. Um, so for me it actually worked out really good. I didn't have issues without like breaking it or that it was like too thick when it was like weighing it down because it was too heavy. It was, it was good for me. And I got like corn starch everywhere. So you're just going to play with it and make sure that it's where you want it. So this is my first one here and once again this is the same thing you want to attach while it's kind of bendable so you can kind of mold it how you want it around the apple if you do them beforehand it's just gonna stand up really straight and you're not gonna be able to really bend them to wrap around the apple so okay kind of like this okay I'm gonna do one more and then um, I'm gonna move it along and I'm gonna do the colored ones um, good question. I'm sorry I did not mention this. Elsa from uh, Sweet, Sweet Treats and Elsa? Elsa? And Mold? <laughs> Elsa, you gotta change your name, girl. Because either I, you gotta change your name or I gotta, <laughs> I gotta learn it. Because every time they ask me, it's like, I, I just say Elsa. But she's in here. I'll leave a link to her Etsy shop. Okay. Um, and she ships uh, pretty quickly. So if you guys order today, you guys will get it hopefully by the weekend, depending where you live and stuff. But I think the last day you can order them, so you have them by Thanksgiving, it would be probably the 21st. Sweets by Elsa and Molds. Thank you, Elsa. <laughs> um, yeah. And if you guys came in late, I am. Uh, we're doing a giveaway. Um, Elsa was so kind enough to uh, sponsor a... A, one of these molds of turkey and the feather. So I'm just going to be picking out a winner from the comments at the very end of the live. So you do have to be live. And if you are a winner, just you're just going to message me. And then we're going to take care of you. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to peel it off once again here. Super easy. Peel it off. Okay. If you're having issues with your fondant sticking, um change fondant you guys it's just part of your fondant because honestly for me Wilton this one works just really really good I have no issues okay so I'm getting hot you guys okay so let's do let's do a fondant one so let's say you don't want to do poppy paint and you want to do a fondant feather so I have some orange here and you're literally just gonna put it where the leaves are um I'll show you right now, Yadira. She's asking, do I paint it now or do I paint it once it's on the apple? I'll tell you right now. So, you're going to grab a little bit of fondant and you're going to put it wherever 
you want on the on the feather like however you want it the bottom of it here it won't matter nobody's gonna see that what they're gonna see is the top of the of the of the apple see the bottom it's on the apple itself so don't worry about if the colors get mixed down here it's totally okay so i'm gonna do some orange there and i'm gonna do orange here at the very end I suggest doing the long ones first. So there's long ones here and this one's the long one. And these right here are a little on the shorter side. So do the long ones first. I'm gonna do this one here. Okay, just like that. And you kind of want them to overlap on the bottom here. Because when you take it out, you want it to come out in one piece. If you try to do it just, you know, a stop where it ends the feather, it's not going to come out all attached. So just make sure that you kind of combine them. They're touching each other, okay? So that way they come out in one piece. Okay, so then I have some turquoise here. Alright, and then I'm going to do... The long ones, like I said, so I'm going to do these here at the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to do here. And of course, you guys can use whatever colors you guys want. You guys can, like, you know, keep it boring. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say traditional. But you guys can change it up. Like, give it some colors. Some people like traditional, like they just like, just keep it, you know, don't change it up. All right, so just like this. And then I have some dark blue in here. Thank you, Veronica. All right, and then I'm gonna add some blue on the short leaves here. And like I said, once you overlap it, like this one here is overlapping the orange. It's not gonna, you're not gonna see it because this orange long one is in front. This will be in the back. So that's why I say you wanna do the long ones first. And then I'm gonna do in the center here. kind of just attaching it all together so this is the back okay and then I'm gonna peel it off and hopefully it comes out in one piece alright so see because we have the long ones here this what was in the back you can't see it so it's overlapping and all of this you won't be able to see because it's going to be on the apple itself so you're only going to see the top okay so this is uh if you guys just want to use fondant and not puppy paint okay so i'm not going to do another one because i'm not going to do this one and i actually have another one already here that i did earlier oh it already fell apart but okay you guys got it okay i have a mess so let me try to I was gonna say clean up but just actually take it off the screen <laughs> okay let me okay so we have one here that we already touched right so you can what I did is I, I I painted them when they were already on the apple you can definitely paint now paint them now and then attach okay um, I'm gonna attach first just and it's there's no right or right or wrong way it's just this is who I am and this is just how I work in my mind um, other people like was dinner is just easier for you to paint right now and then attach but it's just it's how my brain is okay so I'm gonna grab it and because my fondant is not super dry yet it's literally gonna like stay on the apple it should and if it's not then I'm gonna have to use chocolate and I'm literally just helping it 
attach kind of prop the feathers a little bit and i don't think my fondant's gonna stay by itself because it got a little bit on the dry side already so this is what's going to happen to you guys if you guys do them ahead of time <laughs> it's not gonna want to stick okay so i'm gonna have to use chocolate okay so where's my chocolate bowl where did i leave it did i pull this with that yeah okay so i have some chocolate here so we're just gonna use chocolate no big deal and my chocolate is already setting, which that's actually perfect because I like to attach things while they are still wet. I mean, while they're, my chocolate is already kind of getting wet. I mean, drying. Jeez, I can't talk today. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a K-pop stick because I don't have anything else. And then I'm just going to add a little bit. You don't need a lot, okay, at the bottom. I'm going to grab my apple, face it for uh, facing you. So you can know where to put them. You're gonna put one on the one end, okay? And you can make them like have them be a little bit taller, like raise it up a little bit more. Right now they kind of flop, which is honestly perfect for me. I kind of like the flopping. I don't want them straight up. I kind of want some texture. I kind of want some of them to fall, so then some of them to stand up straight. Um, because they're feathers, you know, they're not supposed to be standing up super, super straight. So for me, this is what works. And honestly, it's not super, super heavy where it's just literally going to come down. It's, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to uh, attach the other one. The other one's going to overlap. Oh, can't do that right now. Do that right now. It's going to overlap here in the back, okay? So I'm sorry, you guys, I'm not going to see. It's going to overlap here. A little bit and I'm it's kind of facing me so I can see what I'm doing or else it's not gonna okay I'm, and then because this is why I love working with one that's still kind of manageable because I can fold it how I want it like I can prop them and figure out like do I want these leaves here or do I want them to fall a little bit and I can literally just mold it I want it if they were super already dry I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing okay just like that okay so we're gonna move on and um we're gonna start painting them. Okay, so let me move this. Okay, so let me bring poppy paint. Okay, so poppy paint is this right here. If you guys are not familiar with poppy paint, this is um, meant for you know chocolate. People have used it on royal icing. On royal icing, um, um, I think on fondant it takes a little bit um, to dry, I believe. On, on chocolate, it dries super fast, and on fondant, too. Honestly, on fondant, it dries super fast. I have an experience. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking about the other one. I'm thinking about, um, what's the other brand, you guys? The other brand of paint? Uh, I forgot the name. But you guys know what I'm talking about. That one takes, on chocolate, it takes a little bit longer to dry. But I don't remember the name right now. <laughs> I went blank. Okay. So, and poppy paint, I'll leave a link where I got mine. I got from mine from Sugary Essentials. I'm looking for my little paint palette so I can, um, oh, here it is. Okay, so, um, I'm going to be using some hot pink. Okay, so, let's start with orange. Let's start with orange. Okay, so we're going to give it a good shake. Um, Elsa saying they can make the tail as full as they want. So yeah, so I guess she's saying is you can, you can only use one if you want to. You can use two. You can use three if you want to. Um, you know that's why she made it, the way she made it. So you guys can fluff it up as much as you want. Okay. Um, not Chef Master. It's not Chef Master. Okay. So my poppy paint, the little little lid thing here where it comes out like dripping it's in there and um yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna put a little bit in there and it's gonna spread out because i have a saran wrap on it which i don't care i'm gonna it doesn't matter 
So the reason I put saran wrap is because I just want to take it off and and um and easier for cleanup. So these brushes right here, they are from Michaels from the pack that cost like nine dollars, and there's like a bunch of them, like I think a hundred of them. I will try to leave a link if I see them, but I like them. They're so I'm gonna grab a small one. Um, I'm gonna grab a small one because I'm gonna do the the beak. And poppy paint dries pretty quickly, so you wanna work, you know, fast. So I'm going to do the beak and you're literally just going to paint it. It's already there for you and you're literally just going to trace. That's why I like it. <laughs> There's no trying to figure out like, you know, and I like it because it shows. Okay. And then because we're already on, on, on orange. I'm going to paint some, some leaves. Yes, yeah, the mold is from Elsa. So I'm just going to paint it. If they start to fall a little bit on you, it's fine. It's going to keep molding. It's still, it's still wet. Not wet, but you know, the fondant is still not super dry. So you can mold it as how you want it. Okay. So I have one there. And I'm going to paint this one here. And I just like, I don't know if it's because I like the painting part. Or I don't know. But for me, I just prefer to do, do this than, than uh, fondant. And I kind of like how the colors look um, when you paint it. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit, one more orange here. And it is a lot of work, this apple, you guys, you guys, you know, when it's a detailed apple, this is how it goes. You know, a lot of people see it and they're like, oh, you know, super cute, but they don't know how much work it goes into it. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate here because it's falling too much for me. I want to, I want it there. So I'm going to add a little bit of chocolate and... I know you guys are going to ask me, how much would you charge for this? You guys, I don't know. Like, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to sell them, what I'm going to do with them, if I'm going to sell them. One thing I can tell you guys for sure is if you guys want to sell them, stick to, you know, colors that, that are easy to obtain. Don't go crazy because it's easy to do one apple, but try to do, you know, 12 24 of them uh it's a lot of work so try to stick to you know simple save yourself the time okay so i'm gonna do that there and then um i'm gonna grab some yellow okay i'm gonna give it a shake okay um if you guys want some pricing tips like i suggest um what starting with your base what is your base price and i'm gonna use the same the same brush it's gonna give me a, a change of like the yellow it's gonna give me more of orangey i'm completely okay with that i kind of like that orangey yellow tone to it and i'm just gonna go in there and um paint it wherever i want it and it's gonna have some orange tones into it like i said because i mixed the colors and i like that i like the the mixture So now I have that. Okay. And then I'm going to grab more and just paint away wherever you want. And it's going to dry eventually where you're not going to have to like hold it or be worried that's going to fall. Like. And. And then I'm going to do one more yellow on the edge here. Yeah. So yeah, I was saying, uh, grab the, the, the base of your, like, what do you sell your apples for? You know, are you selling for $5 for basic? And then add, like, how much time are you taking to do this? You know, how much fondant are you using? Okay. And then I'm going to grab some... 
hot pink. I'm going to do a little bit of pink. And this is already dry. If I touch it, it literally, it's already dry. That's why I love poppy paint. And um, this is, I. if you guys have ordered poppy paint like long time ago, and once again, my cap is not like, I don't have the little tip, so I'm just going to pour a little bit. If you guys have the old poppy paint stuff, um, it used to be a little bit thinner. Now it's, I love it. With one pass that I do, it uh, gives me that, that bright color. I don't have to keep passing and passing and passing it to get like a bold color. Okay, and I'm using the same brush. Once again, it's literally the same brush. And um, I have some, some pink and orange tones and now yellow tones. It just, I don't know. I love the feather look that it gives me like this. So that's why I'll mix it. And um, And you guys can't see because the light is like super hard. <laughs> and I might keep adding some chocolate here and there, wherever I feel, or some piping gel or um, edible glue, whatever you have. Okay. And you can cover all the white with with this pot with this paint. I know some of you guys are super OCD. You guys know that I'm not OCD at all. So some of the stuff that bother, that bothers you is not going to bother me. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to go into some yellow. I mean, not yellow, I'm sorry, blue. Alright, and then I'm going to put some blue in there. And this time I am going to change brushes. I'm going to grab another brush. And I'm going to start painting this one here. And I'm going to go in here. Alright, and then I have, you guys can't see it. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in here really and get in there because I have a leaf here. And I know some of you guys have issues with Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to fix my feather here. Um, it's just washing your brushes. I'll tell you guys right now what I wash my brushes with. But this is kind of what it looks like. And all the white stuff that you see, I covered. If you guys see mine here, I covered all of them with paint. You can't even see the white there. Okay? So I'm going to go in there and um, add a little bit of, of yellow. And then I'm going to fix my, my feather a little bit. I said yellow and I went for orange. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to go in there and cover the white spots. Because I know some of you guys are like, I can see the white. It's bothering me. <laughs> Alright. And for the back, I know you guys are going to ask me for the back, do you paint it or not? I do not paint mine. Okay. I, if it's going to bother you, then paint it. Okay, but mine is white on the back. Okay, so she looks like this. Okay. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's do the let's do the the water. So I'm gonna do red. I, you know, Sandy, I didn't even see your question, and I knew people were going to ask me that. Sandy, I did not even see your question, honestly. She was asking, like, does the, does the back of the stay white? I was like, I knew it was going to bother some of you guys. <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, it's a, it's a, a lot of people ask. So, some people, it bothers them, like, this is like, no, 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 no. Um, if this is going to bother you, then use maybe um yellow fondant to you know that way it has some color in it or paint it paint it one solid color if it bothers you okay for me i it does not bother me <laughs> but we're all different so i'm gonna fix my feathers because they're like kind of um falling 
Okay, so I'm going to go in there with some, with the red to uh, do the little waddle. And once again, it's already there. The impression is there. All you're doing is literally painting over the, the little marks. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with some black. And I'm gonna use a small brush, actually not this brush. I'm gonna grab a little black and then just paint it. Do the other eye. The way I would do it if I have like 24 apples, you know, because right now I know it seems like a lot of work on one apple, but I would do everything in one session. So because I know poppy paint dries pretty quickly, I would do all my fondant details, put it on, and then go and paint it in. So I would grab my black and do all the eyes, do all the waddles at the same time, the beak at the same time, all the orange at the same time. That way there's no going back and forth and painting and trying to like, you know, reuse your, your dry poppy paint. So that's what I would do if I was doing a lot of them. So I'm going to let that dry just like for a few like seconds or so. Then I'm going to go in there with some white. So let's move on to the little feet. So the feet, I use some gold. This is from Truly Matte Plastics. I will leave a link for you guys. I actually ordered some silver now. I'm going to try it. I have not tried the silver. Um... But the gold one I love. And I know I have like chocolate everywhere, you guys. That's just how it goes. So this is from Truly Matte Plastics. I'll leave a link at the very end. Uh, this is one of my favorite golds to use on cookies and um, stuff like this. It just gives me a really nice gold. So looks like this. Okay. And if you guys don't want to use gold because it's like, you know, the non-toxic, not edible type of stuff, um, then don't use gold. Use something else. Um, painted with something else and what I, right here what I have is Everclear I will leave a link for you guys where I order online from it's from caskers.com this is where I got this one it works good I have no issues no complaints so just gonna give it a little bit in there and I'm gonna grab my you're welcome you're welcome and I'm gonna grab my little brush and I'm gonna give it a little mix so like I said, if you're not okay with using gold, uh, just, you, just use something else. And I'm going to, there's little feet on the bottom here. So I'm going to paint it so they can stand out a little bit. You can color them uh, orange, whatever color you want. So gold, gold little feet. And then the mold has a little bit, um, I'll show you guys this one here. Like a little bit of those little, I don't know, the body part of the turkey has like little... I guess little feathers. Can you guys see that? Like all that, they're little indentations. So you can leave them as, you know, if you want to leave them like that, they look fine just like that. They don't have to be, you don't have to show them. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're right there. So I'm not going to color each one of them, but I kind of want to give it a little bit of pop. So I'm going to go in there with a tiny brush and I'm just going to literally mark a little, a few of them. Like in the middle of it. So... They pop out just a little bit. And I'm not going in there trying to make them super dark or, you know, they kind of just, just a little bit of color. Okay. All right. So let me grab some white for the eyes. So now uh, just to do the little like twinkle in the eye. Um, um, Elsa says she also sells, um, highlighter that is food edible. Uh, Sandy says, I'll check out, do you prefer Everclear over Vodka? Um, I used, used to use Vodka a long time ago when I couldn't get my hands on, on Everclear. I do see the difference between Everclear and like, because I was using cheap Vodka, like I was using the cheap stuff. I'm trying to look for my palette, it was right here. Like, I was using, like, cheap, cheap vodka, you know, like, 
and um, I see the difference. It kind of like when you use higher percentage alcohol, um, it gives you a bolder, just a bolder uh, gold. And I'm trying to grab some another brush. Okay, here. Um, if you use the cheaper stuff, um, it doesn't have the high percentage. So. It doesn't uh, give you the boldness that you want. So I'm just letting, like doing little dots in the eyes. So now it kind of gives it a little bit. And I gotta fix my feathers here because I want them like here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue, like right here or chocolate. My chocolate already dried, so I don't wanna go and reheat it for that. But you guys, because our fondant is wet, and you guys can mold it still however you want. It's not going to break on you. So I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit of chocolate here, and it's going to stand out. Okay? But that is it. Okay, I'm going to talk about packaging now. And um, uh, I don't think I'm going to... I know somebody, Claudia, I think asked me about the flower top. Claudia, are you in my class? Um, if you're in my Caramapa class, I will... Look for the flower top the flower top boxes that you asked me about, and I will uh, try it on for you. Right now, I just don't know where they're at, and uh, I'm going to take too much time looking for them. Okay, so these boxes right here, they are from Clear Bags. I will leave a link for you guys uh, at the very end once again. Um, okay, Claudia, okay. Um, so I, what I love about these boxes, I fell in love with them recently. Um, my students started to use them, and... Um, they started to share where they got it from. And I, I, the reason I love them is because they're so easy to build. Um, there's literally like no building involved, which saves me a lot of time. The flower top ones um, from Clearbacks also, if you guys are interested in those, they're, they're called flower top boxes. And I was in love with those, but they're time consuming to build. These, they literally come like this. And they're on Amazon as well, if you guys want to order them through Amazon. They are about $23 for 25 of them. So they're not super cheap. They're not like the other boxes that you can find. Because there's some that, super, that are super flimsy. And they don't have a hole on the top. You have to make the hole. So these are, I love the, 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 you know, the sturdiness of them. And I just love how easy they are to build. So you're literally going to open them up. They come like this. You open them up. Just like this. And all you do is kind of twist the bottom. Like just literally do this. And that's it. Like literally you're done. Like it's built. Like, I, I mean, how awesome is that? <laughs> like, honestly, it does not get easier than that. I don't have to sit there and, like, put the flaps in and all that. Like, literally, that's all. Like, that is all. Okay. So, um, you can use cupcake wrappers. Um, but some of, I'm telling you guys, my students literally, I always tell them, you guys always blow my mind because you guys literally take something. I show you guys something. You guys take it to the next level. So, these little, um, um, little mini boards here i used to use cupcake wrappers but i love the way they look on these mini mini boards and i will leave a link for you guys as well so they're like three inches or so they're 3.25 i think or 3.50 i forgot but i will leave a link for you guys i got them off amazon there's different ones so this one's just white and gold and um you prop your apple here if you don't want your apple to move too much because right now it's not going to stick on. You can put a little bit of chocolate. And I have tested it. Put a little bit of chocolate. Put it on the, on the board. And when the customer is going to like try to eat it. It literally just pops out. Like you can just take it off. It's not going to like stick to the board. It's not going to ruin the board. It's not going to ruin your app. It literally just eh, it comes off. Um, if you don't want it to like be shifting a lot. So actually now that I'm looking at it. I forgot to add a straw into it. So I'm going to grab a paper straw. Um. And I'm going to uh, cut it. So because, let me let me show you guys. So if you guys are interested in buying these boxes. Okay. So these sticks are from Smart and Final. Okay. And I'm literally going to grab my stick. And I literally just go in there and I jam it. And you want to make sure that it goes in a little bit. I don't use glue or anything. I literally just jam it in there. And once I feel it go in, that's it. It's not going to fall off. All right, this is good. So I'm gonna grab my box. And I'm gonna put put her in here. 
okay so here's the thing about when you use straws okay you're gonna put the flaps in and it fits perfectly um it fits perfect with the feathers like it just it's perfect i like i said i have to fix it a little bit because it's my feathers are a little bit wonky but you guys get it so i'm gonna close it the hole you guys see the hole is literally right here and the straw is here like there is like you know so i have to cut down the straw even more so it fits um so i can cut just literally up to the stick where my stick is at and i can still cut a little bit more okay and now it should close a little bit easier now this the stick is there and it just closes see? and you literally just close it like this and ta-da I will, like I said, I will link everything for you guys. This is the little boards. They're, they're mini cake boards. They're not meant for apples. They're mini cake boards. I don't know who does cakes that small, but they're cake boards. Um, I will link everything after the live. I will get on Amazon and I will find all the links for you guys. But, you know, you guys can add a bow if you guys want to. If you guys make bows. Then add them here. Um, insert the straw before... Insert the straw before sitting the apple. That's what I have done. What do you mean? I'm like trying to like visualize what you said, Claudia, but. What about putting the apple first, then putting the straw when you close? Is that what you meant, Claudia? Elsa said that, but Claudia, is that what you meant? Like they're saying, let me, let me try this, this one. Just let's do it. Just, you know, if this is easier, maybe this, that's an easier way. So let me move this. Let's try it. So I think what they're saying is put the apple in close it do this um, um yeah i mean you do amari says you got to put like gloves on when you're housing these boxes honestly they're not as bad as other other clear ones where it literally picks up every single thing these are a little a lot better uh, i think that's why i like them but yes, you guys, yeah, when you're going to handle them, you got to, like, have your hands clean. Obviously, my hands are not clean, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut them down a little bit. And they're saying to put it now. Ooh, you guys are smart, I'm telling you guys. I, I, it worked. It worked. I'm just kind of scared if that I won't be able to, like, kind of check if it's going to, like, if it's, secure and especially if I have feathers going on um, but it did work but I like to give it like a little shake to make sure that you know it's secure but yes it worked the only thing that I kind of worry about and this is just extra you guys this is just I think about how the customer is going to like open it and how they're going to you know handle the apple so for me let's say I'm a customer and this is you know what they gave me and they're gonna open it and sometimes it's hard look at like it literally it's stuck on the box so they literally have to like pull it, pull it like this and open it. So, and my straw got messed up. <laughs> but yeah, so let's try this one. But yes, it did work. So thank you guys for the idea in case I ever like miss, maybe I forgot to add straws. Um, that it did work. So just make sure you cut them down a little bit more because now when the customer gets it and opens it, it's going to be a little bit easier. Now it just literally pops out, you know. So don't leave the straws too long if you're going to use these boxes. Okay, so I will link everything. Um, like I said, if you guys didn't watch the beginning, um, um, I am doing... Um, I'm doing, uh, we're doing a giveaway. So, um, you guys didn't, uh, come in in time. I'm just going to be picking out a winner, uh, from the comments. Just one winner. So, I am, Elsa was kind enough to, uh, sponsor one of these for us. Or donate one of these. So, I will be picking one while you guys are commenting. And I'm going to go back and forth. Um, on the comments. I will talk about how to, uh, clean your brushes. Because I know some of you guys have issues cleaning your brushes when it comes to poppy paint. Because once it dries, it gets hard. Like, it's really hard. And it, they won't come off with just water. Um, so, I actually got this little... It's so cute. It's like a shot glass. It says paint, wash, and repeat. I got this from um, from Alex, from Poppy Paint. She's a, the one who created 
poppy paint so she was at an event and she had these little shot glasses and I like I, I love them so you're gonna put your brushes in here and then you're gonna use some rubbing alcohol and then you're gonna put some in there you don't want to wait too long to clean your brushes do not you know be trying to clean them a week later because it's gonna be super hard you want to do them as soon as you are done working with them and you literally just gonna move it around and the paint comes off okay it starts to uh, stay inside the little cup and you can leave them in for a few minutes not too long not too long because it will oh this one's like not even turned over I don't need a okay and then once you are done taking off the poppy paint and doing this you're gonna um rinse them with hot water and soap and just with hot water and then they'll come off and then you have like super clean brushes so whenever you have like let's say a paint palette and you didn't use saran wrap you want to clean them just use rubbing alcohol so this one i literally just, well, this is what i do and that's why i like putting because i just no cleanup and that's it okay okay yes me too Jacqueline says I learned my lesson me too I have done that I've lost so many brushes because I literally wait like weeks to clean them and that it just doesn't come off anymore so do them as soon as you are done okay I am done you guys um I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial I have a mess going on here I'm sorry for my all my OCD people that hate me <laughs> from seeing all of this all right I have the comments here all right so right here on this See, you guys are popping in. All right, so I'm going to pick one winner. I'm going to go, let me, let me, let me, let me move this to the side. Hold on. All right, so you guys can see that I am literally going to go, I'm going to scroll all the way. You guys see I'm scrolling. Okay, so we're at the top, and then I'm gonna go all the way down and go back and forth and <laughs> do this. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna close my eyes and then I'm just going to stop it. Okay, one, two, and three. All right, so it is El Aguilar. El Aguilar, you are the winner. Okay. El Ali Aguilar. Okay, so message me. You are the winner of the mold. I will uh, get off here and I will link everything for you guys. Okay, uh, so just be patient. Give me at least half an hour um, and I will do that right away. Okay, so El Ali Aguilar, you are the winner. Message me and I will direct you to Elsa. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later this week. Uh, be making something else. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Happy Veterans Day.